Yo, what is up guys? Ultraball's back with potentially the final game for Smoke on Snake Draft. Uh, so this is the finals here, a uh, game between Shrug and Sken. I'll go over the situation quickly before the game starts. So, uh, Shrug plays for the Pit Vipers and Sken plays for the Bushmasters. Uh, right now the Pit Vipers are up f um, four... Or what, yeah, five to four in the series, and uh, this is the last game. So if Sken wins, it'll be tied. It'll go to a three-game tiebreaker. If Shrug wins, then the Pit Vipers will win Snake Draft. Uh, they'll be six-four. So this uh, is the f possibly the final game of this tournament. So really cool that I get to bring it to you guys, and really cool that it's Little Cup. Like you guys all probably know by now if you've been watching um, my uploads on Doc's channel. I love Little Cup. So <laughs> all right, we're this is like perfect perfect scenario for me. So uh, we'll look at the teams quickly, I guess, before they start. So. Uh, just off the bat, the major threat, Shrug has an Abra and Sken has no Psychic Resist, which, it, oh, I've said it before, it's a big no-go in Little Cup. I really don't like having no Psychic Resist because Abra is stupid. Abra's, yeah, Abra's one of the best mons in the tier, and especially if you're running something like Sken's team, which isn't, like, super offensive. It's not like HO, it's more like B bulky offense or balance type team. I feel like you need to have good counterplay to Abra, and he has none. Uh, also, Elekid kills, like, every mon, so... Yeah, for Shrug, because Elekid usually runs, like, electric, psychic, grass coverage, and look what that does to Sken's team. It destroys it, so... Uh, yeah, on Sken's side, though, uh, the Ponyta looks like a huge problem, because Shrug has no fire resist, and a lot of, uh, a lot of Ponytas will be set up, z move, so, like, either Flame Charge, or Z-Sunny Day, or stuff like that, like, set up sweepers, and that could be really problematic for Shrug, because, like I said, he's got no fire resist, so, uh, definitely maybe want to hold the sash on abra you could chip it down you have some priority with mock punch with timber but yeah here it comes out now it's a big problem though so we saw already the um, the spritz was a good lead because it forced the man for the u-turn and is able to keep it to violet for now which is important um and now i'm pretty sure though like the, i think this uh spritzy should should wall um this uh, ponytail for the most part unless it's like a sunny day then the fire moves will probably do over half but yeah you see that flare blitz only does 44 so we could just wish protect this thing off and shrug just went for wish they're trying to scout in i'm um, depending on what he went for i guess uh, he would he would be able to keep this thing healthy regardless because he couldn't get o code by anything so that is like uh, just smart play by shrug there so now shrug's definitely protecting because he wants to keep this healthy to be able to check the mianfu um mainly the mianfu i guess it, yeah it kind of checks like the Onyx too. Like the Onyx doesn't do much damage to this thing as long as it keeps its Violite in check. So now it goes Fungus, or Sken goes Fungus. So this uh, could potentially Spore, but if there's a Vullaby in the back, which could easily be uh, Overcoat. So if if Shrug has Overcoat Vullaby, it's a usually a pretty safe switch in because like it could roost off any damage even if it's Sludge Bombs. But he goes Ferro Seed on the Spore. So what that tells me is that maybe his Vullaby is probably not Overcoat. It's probably going to be a Weak Armor set. A lot of times the Weak Armor Vullabies will run like Nasty Plot 3 attacks or something like that. So he goes to Ferro Seed. Uh, the problem with for Sken with this, right, is that um, the Ferro Seed always is able to come in on like the the spritzy and if fungus doesn't have hp fire the fungus but either way it comes in on those and it gets up hazard and he has no um no hazard control so if the pharisee is like double hazard which isn't the most common thing but it's definitely seen in little cup if it is double hazard that's a huge problem for skin because like i said he could just keep not every time like the spritzy comes out or whatever he could go into the pharisee and get up a spike um pretty much although he has to be a, a kind of nervous about the uh if the, if the Spritzy on Sken's team is Calm Mind, that could definitely put in some work, that for sure. So he's got to make sure to not give that thing too many boosts. Uh, we see a Covet on the Ponyta, but the Ponyta is um, Z-Move. So, yeah, it looks like it's some sort of threat. If it's some sort of Flame Charge set, it could be a real problem uh, for Shrug, like I said before. But now, uh, we saw, so the, the Mianfu was able to knock off the Spritzy. So now the Spritzy's not going to be able to wall this Ponyta any longer. So it's probably forced out here. I think, I don't know if he has a good switch in. Like if the Vullaby is uh, weak armor, which is what I'm assuming because it didn't come into the Fungus, he could go to that and he'll get the speed boost and then outspeed the Ponyta and threaten this out with a Brave Bird. Uh, so he could potentially make that play. Um... But yeah, other than that, like I said, this is a huge problem. So I think we're going to see Morning Sun here. Yeah, it is Morning Sun. So it's probably, with it being a Z-move, I'm assuming that it's like, and we already saw Flare Blitz. So normally it's weird because normally the Z-move sets that are like I'm more familiar with are like special. And they'll be like either Z-Solar Beam or Z-Sunny Day. Like with Solar Beam. But I'm assuming this is maybe just like a Flame Charge and then Wild Charge Flare Blitz and Z-move on one of those would be my guess. Um, but yeah, I think, well, if you... 
I think also Sken here has to fear a Scarf Vullaby, which is definitely, there's potential for this to be Scarf Vullaby, because there's no other real Scarfer on Shrug's team, so uh, we could def this definitely could be Scarf, and I think we could see a like a, a knockoff or Brave Bird come out here. He knows that this is Zemu, so he might not want to go for knockoff, because it's not going to do that much, and then you just might like just die to Wild Charge or something, so I think he's just going to Brave Bird this thing. Like I said, this Ponyta is too big of a threat to, to mess around with, I think. So if I'm Sken, I'll probably just go into my Onyx here. Uh, we'll see if the Onyx is like weak armor, that would be good for Sken. Um, and we'll see what it is here. Yeah, okay, it is weak armor, so this should be able to, this means Sken should be able to get his rocks up here. As uh, Shrug will probably go into... Uh, maybe like, yeah, Ferris Seed's fine, uh, especially if it's like Berry Juice, because like you easily eat a hit and then just recycle back to full. And this is where if you have the double hazard, you go for the spike here. And like I said, Sken's super pressured by hazards. Uh, that's the problem I think with his team too is, uh, like he has no hazard control, but like Ponyta needs hazards off the field, right? Because like every time the Ponyta comes in now, and we see it is spikes too, so this is like really bad for Sken because whenever the Ponyta gets in, it's a huge threat, but it's forced to like roost or to, to Morning Sun and heal itself. Because if it doesn't Morning Sun, it's going to be super low, and then it's taking Flare Blitz recoil, and then uh, it's never going to be able to come in again. So pretty much whenever the Ponyta find its, finds its way in, it like is almost forced to Morning Sun. Otherwise, you're going to have to like sack it, which which sucks because that's like the one thing that really could uh, threaten Shrug. I feel like. Uh, but now it's going to probably go into it again here, I would assume. Um, because I don't think, uh, Diglett, if Diglett's Z-move, it could probably kill this thing. Yeah, it'll kill this thing with Z. It wouldn't kill it with normal Earthquake. So, uh, if he's not, Z or we already saw, right? I I'm stupid. <laughs> we already saw Z-move Ponyta. So, yeah, Diglett cannot come in here to trap this. Um, because it's not Z, so it's not going to kill. It's not going to do shit. So, you're kind of forced here into either Fungus or into the, uh, Ponyta. The problem is if you go Fungus and you don't have HP Fire... Because uh, sometimes they'll run like clear smog plus sludge bomb. Sometimes they'll run synth. They could they could run different stuff. They could even run like stuff like HP ice or whatever. But normally H I, I like HP fire the best. But if it's not HP fire, that gives Pharisee a free switch in and another spike. Which yeah, that's definitely what Sken's got to be w try and pressure the Pharisee as much as possible and not let any more hazards go up on his side. But I don't think it like it's already not looking great for him uh, because like even the the fungus is like. It's regen's almost going to... Well, it's still getting regen back, but it's like partially cancelled out by all these hazards it has to take every time it comes in. Uh, which means that it's not going to be able to switch in as well to stuff like Timber. But he also does have his Spritzy for the Timber, so it's not as big of a deal, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, Sken's thinking about what to go to here. Uh, like I said, I think his only two plays are to go to Fungus or to Ponyta. Um... But yeah, I, also, like, the Spritzy has been knocked off, so there's a chance that you could go Onyx and, like, Rock Blast will do a decent amount, but then you're kind of worried, or, like, you have, you're, like, relying on getting multiple hits. Uh, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think Onyx Earthquake would kill, even without it. It, it doesn't have a Violite, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe Diglett could do it, I'm not sure. Uh, Spritzy without a Violite, I mean, a Violite's a busted-ass item in this tier, I'm sure. Any of you guys that play Little Cup know that, but, uh... Yeah, without the Aviola, it's not going to be taking hits nearly as well. So he's probably calculating. Like, okay, so obviously Diglett doesn't kill because if Diglett killed without the Aviola, he would have went to that for sure. Uh, now we're going to see, like, you see, this is why Shrug could just go back into Vullaby for like nothing because Sken should be forced to click Morning Sun here, and he just clicks Flame Charge and he crits. But it is weak. Okay, so I did call that right. It is weak armor Vullaby, and he gets the Berry Juice. So. Yeah, that's why Shrug kept throwing this in. It makes a lot of sense, because now this thing is still faster than the Ponyta, even if it does Flame Charge, which it did. So now he's forced out, or this thing just dies to Brave Bird. So, it, well, I don't get why he knocked. Um, I wouldn't have done that. So now you just lost your Vullaby. But, um, on the bright side, the biggest threat to your team is dead. But I feel like at that point, because the Ponyta was so low, I don't think that you had to make that play. I think you could have just brave birded because then if he stays in it's dead and if he switches out it's coming back in at like 10 or 20 percent you know and then you could always just go hard vullaby again because he's forced to morning sun so i don't think he necessarily had to make um the knock play especially knowing that it was zemu so the knockoff wouldn't kill i, I would have just no nah, i wouldn't have gone for that but it, it didn't really matter either way um well it, it matters but like my point is the ponyta being dead is more important for shrug than his vullaby being alive so he still gets the better trade of that. I, I see. I assume we see a knockoff here. Yeah, we knock off the Spritzy, which is really good. And now it depends on what set this is. Like a lot, if it's bulk up, then it can't touch the Spritzy still because it's usually uh, mock drain knock. 
Uh, if it's four attack, it usually either runs like Ice Punch or Poison Jab in the last move slot. So if it is Poison Jab, he's going to go for it here. Uh, and if it's not, he'll probably switch out to like Ferris Seed. So it is Poison Jab. So good job by Sken scouting that. But like the, he's still like still the, the Spritzy got knocked and he can't really go Fungus uh, because Fungus just gets knocked. Uh, I'm assuming that we just see Drain Punch come out here. Yeah, this Timber is looking like a huge threat. Holy shit. Because now, he, if he wants to, he could just Mock Punch this to play safe. Or he could either Drain or Knock. Uh, he goes Fungus here. Let's see if he went for Mock Punch. Uh, obviously, Skem is predict predicting Knock, but Shrug is like, nah, man. <laughs> or, I mean, yeah, Skem was predict predicting Mock Punch, but uh, Shrug was like, nah, man. Let me just take that of Violet real quick. And this thing can't even, like, this, is, this isn't even, like... This can't even check Timber anymore either. <laughs> so Timber had two checks and now it's got zero. I don't know how he beats this Mon. Uh, I probably wouldn't sack this to sleep though because like... Yeah, there's no, I wouldn't sack this to sleep. This is too important. This literally just wins the game. So I wouldn't risk like sleep turns on shit. I would just go into like Pharisee here if I was Shrug. Or you could even sack like the Elekid to sleep because I don't feel like you need that Mon anymore. I feel like this, this Mon just single handedly wins the game. Because like Fungus can't even switch in because now that it's knocked like... It's taking between like drain punch is gonna do like 30. Yeah, see it did 30, and then the hazards take it takes so much from hazards. But he does let this thing go down to spore, which I don't necessarily agree with. But he does get a tr he could like take this turn to try and burn off. Like he could try and burn off a turn to sleep this turn. But I still don't think that was the optimal play. Um, yeah, like I said, I probably would have just sacked the Elekid to sleep, and then you could have gone back into this and just won. I, I don't think this... Yeah, I don't see why this Mon will ever have to switch out unless uh, it gets bad sleep turns. So you could probably just go for Drain Punch here trying to wake up because you live a high jump kick easily. Uh, so I, I think that Shrug here tries to burn his second turn and clicks Drain. Uh, this thing could always come back in though and uh, burn off more turns. Uh, like I guess on like the Fungus now. Uh, but yeah, it does wake up and it just drains it all back. So now he's at... Yeah, so now he's... Um, not I think it just wins I don't know what Sken does I think Sken has to go into uh, Diglett and hope that he crits because Diglett should live one mock punch because it's still pretty healthy so I think if Diglett lives mock he goes into that and tries to crit but if he doesn't crit I think uh, Shrug just wins and uh, that would mean the Pit Vipers win which uh, this is BTB's team my man so hoping to try and get him a trophy out here uh, so <laughs> yeah and he actually I think Doc already put that video up he actually beat ABR to to make it 5-4 so yeah he was like the game before this he beat uh, ABR to go up 5-4 and now Shrug uh, looking to seal the deal for the Pit Vipers and bring home the trophy for his team and like I said I think it looks incredibly good for him uh, at team preview I definitely didn't see this being as big of a threat as what it turned out to be because he had two decent checks to fighting types being like Fungus Spritzy he came well prepared for the fighting type but still got put down by it <laughs> uh but yeah, like I said, I don't think Sken has a play. I think his play is Crit Earthquake. I don't see another play. Because Spritzy dies to Poison Jab, and I'm pretty sure that Fungus dies to to either Drain or Poison Jab now. Because it took 30 from the first uh, Drain. And I think it's going to come back in at like 30 because it has to take the hazards. But yeah, Sken's really trying to find a way to like, you know, just see what his out might be. But, like, even if he kills this, I still don't think he has an out because he still doesn't have a Psychic Resist. And the Spritzy's low and knocked off, so that is not, that's going to get destroyed by Psychic. Especially because, like, Spritzy always run Fizz Death because they have to check the fighting types, so they have to be, bold, like, bold. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, this, he's going to have to, like, pivot out to try and get regen on. But now he's just got to sack another Mon because this dies to Drain Punch anyway. So, Shrug could just go for Drain here. Like, a free Drain, and then he could go for Poison Jab next turn. And he still doesn't have a switch in though, because if he goes hard Diglett, then it dies to, to mock. If he goes into Onyx, it dies to mock. Uh, and if he goes back to Fungus, it dies. So he has to sack this. I still feel like his only set of plays before, like, he, he let this thing heal up now more. I think his only set of plays was to go into uh, uh, Diglett and try and, um, and try and crit Earthquake, because I'm pretty sure that it lived a mock from the range it was at. So I think that, like I, like I said, I think that was like his best, like, uh, his best option to come back. Uh, but yeah, now, now Sken just clicks Drain again or Poison Jab. Either one. Like, if he doesn't want... I don't know the roll on... If the, if it's... If Ma, or if Drain's a roll, he was, yeah, just going to click Poison Jab. And now he just clicks Mock Punch. Um, 
like three times and wins because I like I said I think he might have to hit the Diglett twice. Um, I'm not positive about that. You guys could calc it if you want. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, so I got that's it. Yeah, uh, Sken saying GG. He's gonna forfeit. So congratulations to the Pit Vipers. Congratulations to my man BTB for getting that trophy. Uh, yeah. So this is it for Snake Draft, guys. Uh, but don't, hey, don't, you know, don't, don't fret because we still got a bunch of these games uh, between me and Doc left to narrate. But since this was like the final game, right, we want to kind of get this one out quickly if possible, and then we'll go back and try and get some of the other ones um, as they come up. So. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, uh, comment, subscribe to my man, Doc Rich. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace. I guess I'll stay with you until we see the official forfeit, you know, if you guys want to see the end of it. But, um, yeah, Sken's just taking the timer loss quick. Oh, okay, he forfeits there. All right, guys, see ya. I'm out. Peace.